Okay, so this video is going to be kind of a, a quick um, overview of how to get the Easy Worship software and the um, vMix software up and loading. Um, just a real quick video in case you need a refresher um, on Sunday morning. So what we'll do is we'll go in, click Easy Worship, get it set up, go up to open, select a schedule from the thing, and we're already live. When you open the program, it's live already. Um, I do recommend um, turning that off before you get started, because um, sometimes the, uh, the live will blank out this menu bar down here, and you're gonna need that when you um, go to turn on the web browser um, for the Facebook live stream and to get access to the vMix. Um, so we've got this here. Um, I will say real quick, if it does not um, show up on the, the walls, um, if the live, view is, if this bar is blacked out, um, then live view is showing on this monitor screen and not the two uh, wall screens. Um, so if the desktop is showing on the wall and live view shows it on this screen, you go up to edit, hit options, it brings this up, you go to output monitor right there and select monitor to secondary every time. Then you click okay and it should work from there. Uh, then you're ready to hit live and let me get that going and there we go. So that's, that's the easy worship and then I will go ahead, close that out, and do the vMix. It's already open right here. You get that open. Let me close it, actually. Um, that way you can see what to do from scratch real quick. All right, it's closed. Double click it. It'll open. This is what you'll see when you open it. Go up to open. Click it. Go to correct church audio and video preset. Right there. Select open. Hit open again. And it'll say loading preset. And then you'll get the view of the camera. And then you're ready to hit stream whenever you're ready to stream. Uh, everything is preloaded in that. Um, it will be stream one is Facebook. Stream two is YouTube. We will not be streaming to YouTube. Um, this has custom RTMP server. Uh, the URL of our streaming thing and then the stream key um, the quality is set at h264 1080p 6 megabits per second aac 128 kilobits per second um, that will give us a smooth um, smooth video streaming quality hopefully um, it's been kind of flaky lately. Um, I've done some adjustments to it, but you won't have to change the quality or anything like that. You just, when you get ready to stream, click the stream, the arrow, the up arrow to the right of the stream button and select start stream one. And also when service starts, go ahead and hit record. Uh, just get record, get stream going first and then you can hit stream because you can start stream um, 
or hit record after you hit stream because you can get stream going a couple of three minutes early uh, to give people a chance to log in um, on their apps, their phones, their computers, whatever, um, and let them be tuning in because that will send out a notification um, to everyone who has uh, Facebook and is watching it on Facebook that we will be streaming or we're live now. Um, so hit stream first, then hit record. Um, when you're finished, you hit stream again and it will stop the stream. When you're finished recording, hit the record button again and it will stop the recording.